welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah here at Every Little X Stitch. Um, I have had a very long break, long hiatus from you guys. I apologize for that. Life has gotten crazy. It's just been busy, busy all the time lately. So, um, yeah, I took a huge long, long break from um, floss tube. I think my last video, I want to say I did in June or July. I think it was June though. Anyway, I have notes throughout in my notebooks. We are going to get into the video. I'm going to try not to make this like two hours long. Um, that's a huge exaggeration, but really I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can. I am going to go over uh, finishes, whips. I'll save haul to the end because I know not everybody likes haul and you can watch as much as you want of the video and then skip over to or skip past that if you want, if you don't want to see it. But if you do, feel free to keep watching. Um, so... Well, I should probably write my notes, right? Um, okay, so kind of to update you guys a little bit on life, just a few things. I'm not going to get into everything because that's just craziness. But um, so I had a wedding I was in. That was part of the reason I was absent in the summer. Uh, my One of my best friends in the entire world, uh, she got married in July. So that was awesome. So I went, I was in her wedding and... Had a really, really good time with me. Um, her. name was Sarah, too, actually. We've been friends for 27 years. So very, very long friendship there. Um, and her wedding was beautiful and amazing, and I loved it. And then uh, then we had um, the October retreat. So the Michigan's October Michigan Stitches Retreat. I did that in October. Um, the second, I think it's the second week in October. I did that. Um, so that was really fun. I went or I roomed with my friend Suze, who is on. No, she's not on. She's not on Floss Tube yet. She needs to get on Floss Tube, but she's not on Floss Tube yet. Um, but I roomed with my friend Suze, um, and that was really fun. We had a really good time, and the retreat was really fun. I got a lot of haul, met up with my friends that I hadn't seen in a very long time. So that was really cool. And just got to catch up with everybody. So I had a, I had a blast there. It was, it was really amazing. Um, and then another thing that I did, you guys can see my sweatshirt here, third eye blind. I went to a third eye blind, third eye blind concert with my brother. Um, he's a long time third eye blind lover too. And so in November, November 12th, 21st, I think it was, November 21st, they came to our city. It was the most perfect thing because the last two times that they have come to Michigan, I have missed them uh, since they started touring again, I should say. Uh, the first time that they officially came back, my older daughter uh, was too little to be able to leave for to go for that long. And then, um, cause it was a ways away, like quite a ways away. And then, um, the second time was actually during, um, I'm a blank in there, StitchCon of all things. It was when StitchCon was going on here. That was literally the weekend that the concert was going on. So that was a huge bummer. That was in June of uh, last year, obviously. So we went to that and it was long, t it was a very, very long time coming cause I've been listening to them since 1997. So um, that was the biggest, most fun thing that I think went on for me personally, was getting to see them finally after all this time, like 18 years or 22 years, I think it's 22 years now, I don't, I don't remember, but anyway, um, so let's get into things, uh, first off I wanted to kind of, if you guys watch or uh, follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this, but, um, so I'm a big planner person. Last year, I actually kind of fell off the planner wagon a bit. Is it fell on or fell on or off? I don't know. But I'm back on the, the planner kick that I've been on. I've been doing planning for like, I think this is the seventh year, the sixth year, the seventh year. I use an Erin Condren always, but this year, actually I bought this last year. I think I showed this in a video, but I just started, anyway, this is what I'm talking about. This is by Dimensions. They got this at Hobby Lobby for like $10 last year. I never used it last year. So I pulled it out this year when I was actually going through some other stuff. I remembered, oh yeah, I have that. So I put um, 
some I put my stuff in here like what I what I've been working on I'll just show you guys real quick so like this is what January looks like you date these yourselves and I didn't realize too just real quick this is essentially like a this fits happy planner stuff and I've never used happy planner until well this year I went and bought one because I didn't realize how versatile they really are so I got one for like budget and for home and then I have one I got like a wellness one and then I have my regular um Erin Condren but anyway so you date these yourself yourself so this is what like January looks like for example and what I do with mine is I will write in like like at the end of the night I'll write in or if I forget then I'll write in the next day but like today I haven't written in um and I, I did a little bit of Bucilla so I'll put that in later but I keep track of what I'm, what projects I'm doing, you guys can see, and then, um, then it has, it shows like your, like a weekly, I'll just show you blank one, so this is like a weekly view, and I like it to be, um, horizontal like this, because I find it's actually better, I like vertical planners normally, but, um, I like this because I tend to just write more detailed, like I'll, I'll write what I did in the project to see, like, you know how you can tell if you if you write like where you are specifically on a on a stop or on a on a pattern and you'll see if you made a lot of progress by just knowing what that piece what that little part of the project is. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. And then I put in the date stickers of like actually I had to take some of these off because I didn't realize that this starts Monday instead of Sunday and it's weird. I don't I don't like that. But anyway, so yeah, I really like this, and I started utilizing this, and I have, there's actually a section two, which I really like, and I found that I've been getting further, I'll show you right here, goals for the week, and I'll put in my goals for the week of how, what I want to get done on a project, and so far I've been meeting my goals because I've been writing them down, and I like checking things off, it's a big um, motivator, I feel like. So anyway, I got this from Hobby Lobby. They are on Amazon, though, if you guys are interested in this. It's called Dimension. Just type in Dimensions Cross Stitch Planner, and you should be able to pull it up. And there's lots of, I mean, you could use anything for, it doesn't have to be that. I mean, you could use anything for a planner for you know, cross stitch or if you want to track things. I'm I'm doing it because I want to see how long projects actually actually take me to do and what specifically I'm working on like for the whole year. I like the calendar view where you can go back and say I worked on this project for 10 days and just have a you know like a reference point to see back on. I like that. Um okay then finishes. I actually have a, I have five finishes for you guys so that's exciting. Um so the first one is, I'll just go back in the order that I did them. Uh, okay, September from the Cricut collection. That's what it looks like. And I stitched this on 28 count. Um, did I dye this? Yes, I dyed this myself. So this is on 28 count. I have no idea what red dye I used anymore. This is what it looks like. So here's a whole backup piece of it. And then here's a close up. And there's is it crooked now. I'm sorry, I put this away, so I just pulled it back out. Books are crooked. Um, I'm gonna do this so the light shows it better. So here's September. And the end of it. So this one, uh, what I did, you know, anybody, any of you guys that have been following me for a while, you know that I started these last year, finished them all up this year, with the exception of one, which was November, because I just couldn't anymore. November was just, November was quite honestly just taking me off because I don't like the fabric that I that I dyed at all. And I like it sometimes. Sometimes it looks purple. Sometimes it looks brown. It just, I don't like it. So I didn't finish it. But anyway, next one is 
finish is October from the Cricut collection. This is one of my absolute favorites. This one in December, I think I'm my, no, no, no. August is my favorite, but I love October and November, or October and December are my next favorites. Anyway, I'll show you guys this. This I hand dyed myself. This is on 28 count. Um, how did I do this? Did I coffee tea dye this? Yeah, I coffee tea dyed this. So here's October. Um, back. And then up close. And this one has these really, like there's a little owl button there. A little leaf button. I love that letter B with the fire and the little spider web. So pretty. And that pumpkin. That's one of my favorite pumpkins. And some more little leaves leaves and it's the October so yep same thing with this one started this last year finished it up this year this one I didn't have much to go on and it wasn't I you know I didn't work on it for a super long time so even though I've been absent from floss tape I still have been stitching um, okay then I have December from again the Cricut collection so I just have one more of these and these, this is, well the, well, the months are done anyway. Then I have two more seasons to finish up. I have winter and summer to finish. And then I have some other Cricut collection. Uh, some of them are in the haul. I'll show you guys. And you'll see what I bought that's new. So here's December. This I stitched on 28 count fabric that I, I did Brit dye with myself. So I have no idea anymore what colors I used. But here's a close-up of it, a little gingerbread, the hot cocoa and Santa, a little globe, that tree is my absolute favorite, I love that tree so much, um, I did add a cardinal button to this that's not called for, but I love cardinals, and I thought it was perfect with that little tree with the little red berries in it, so, that's that, and that, last one the angel is really pretty but oh my gosh those candles were such a pain to do did not love those towards the end but I love getting it done so um so then the plan for these is I'm gonna find a frame probably two frames actually one that's a shorter one for the shorter months and a longer one that'll cover the longer months and then I'm gonna just switch them out so I'm not buying 12 frames and framing 12 pieces because that's just chaos and a lot of money too a lot of money that I don't really want to spend um okay and then oh two more finishes again sorry so then my next one is my husband's stocking and sorry I don't I didn't grab the paper like the cover paper of what it sh what it looks like but I mean it's the exact same of what I did but anyway so that's the back of it so this is my husband, Jason's stocking. I worked on this the, I finished this in November. So here's back what it looks like. And you can see how glittery these are. They're super glittery. That's his name, Jason. And then here's this Argyle at the top is my favorite. And then you see there's Santa, and Frosty, little um, holly leaves there. I love this stocking. This was, um, I would say, out of all the stockings that I've done so far, um, Colette's is very elaborate. She's got a lot going on. This one is particularly finicky. Like, this is the first time I've done um, this, like, cording that, this is actually cording that I made myself that is the string of all the leaves. So each one of those I had to, well, obviously everything on here I hand sewed myself, but yeah, I really love this. The scarf took forever, like several hours on this scarf to do this satin stitch, but I love it. And all the, all the stockings, I, when I do the names on mine, I, I don't use their font that that comes with them. I actually, this is like my handwriting, my cursive handwriting. So how, sorry, my just so you guys know, this light that shines through, it's because of our chandelier there. Can't do anything about it. But I I do these all in my own handwriting. So 
I found any other ones never fit. They're always too big. And then the last finish that I have to show you guys is, I do have a cover picture of this. I'll show you. Put out the plastic so you don't get any glare. So this is, um, this is by Priscilla, Partridge in a Pear Tree Felt Kit Ornaments. So I'm doing, I'm jo I joined a cell, so I'm doing one of these a month. And so the first one I had finished on January 6th. So here's, oops, here's Partridge in a Pear Tree. And I love this so much. I can put this one down. I was just working on it nonstop. There's that, and then the bottom of it just reads out a partridge in a pear tree. Really pretty and sparkly. Very, very sparkly. So this is two, okay, so I'm gonna do the video since I have a lot of, since I was gone for so long, you guys don't have a, really a clear idea of what I've been working on. I've, I have shown things on Instagram, not absolutely everything I don't think though. Um, so I'm just going to, I have a lot of new starts basically. So I'm going to just kind of tell you if I have a new start and list it that way. So this is the new start I did January 1st. I started this. I'm doing a sale with this, like I said, in a Facebook group. So that's one of my new starts and this will be done by the end of the year for sure. If not sooner at the rate that I've currently been able to sew them. Um, so that's one thing. That's one whip. So that's, I, I guess, like, so now we're going to do whips, basically. That was the whole point of that. And I will show you, I'll tell you if it was a new start, if you guys haven't seen it at all, basically, is what I am trying to get at. Um, okay, so not really in any particular order. I guess I'll try to get the older-ish older stuff first. And then get into the newer, more current stuff. So I'll show you whips, like, that I've been working on. So, where's that pile? Oh, there it is. Okay, so. No, I don't want to be on the other side of this. Okay, so I don't actually have anything. Sorry, I tried looking for the cover pictures for you guys of a lot of these, but now I'm finding that they're not all here. So I tried to be as organized as I could, but there's a there's so much stuff. If you guys could see everything that's on this counter, you'd be like, oh my gosh, it's a lot. Anyway, so first one I'll show you is June from I just seen May. Here's June. I don't have the picture. I apologize. I'll just insert a picture of what it should look like here. And then this is, so this is June. You guys may have seen this because I, I did a video in June, right? No, I had just started this. I just started this when I went to um, StitchCon. So this is how far I got. Pretty far, actually. Um, this one I, I, I plan to pull out, obviously, Back in June, or in June again this year, and I will try to finish this completely. There's June, and then I also have July. So that's what July looks like. And I did change some colors in July. Um, and I should list fabric. So fabric, if I don't, if I don't say fabric, you guys, I'm sorry. It's just something that slips my mind a lot of the time. I'm not trying to do that. I just forget um so there's july here is what i have done of july so i have the a lot of the house done i have to fill in the trees obviously and then the bottom part and that rough so the colors that i switched to though um are I did Blue Jay by Gentle Art, which 
Action Arts, and also oh, two more apparently. Monkey Grass for the trees. I try to switch all the trees if I can. <coughs> Sorry, edit that out. Um, so I switched to monkey grass right here, monkey grass, and I'm doing the roof in Onyx from Gentle Arts. Gentle Arts and Weeks are pretty much the only ones I do switch to when I switch them for, for this series anyway. I am doing all of these. I just don't know when I'll have them all finished. But I'm doing all of these. And then the same thing, I'm going to, you know, just switch the frame out as I do them. So that's that one. Then, uh, I went into, obviously, August. So I'll show you August. Um, so here's what August looks like. Here's August, same um, Lily Violette, and I switched some colors on this. Just, I'll tell you if I switch colors, and I'll just show you guys those first. They switched the yellow to Harvest Moon of the house, and I'm gonna leave them in their bag so you guys don't mind. Sweet potato, and what is this? Oh, emerald. Sorry for the glare. Sorry, I just don't want to have you guys have to sit here forever while I take things out of bags, put things back in bags. I just feel like that's going to take forever. So, I'm trying to save time. So, here is man. here's August. I got a lot of this done. And, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, if you guys want to see what I do, you know, more so than what gets shown on FlossTube, then go follow me in there. Every little X stitch. Um, so here's August. I got a lot of August done. I was really happy with the progress there. And I do see that I did a, a the rough color here. Obviously, that's a color change. And I don't know if I showed that one. Did I show that? I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to bore you guys forever with that. Okay, then the next one I did was October. So I started this um, at the October Stitches Retreat. I love this one. I love the bricks. So pretty. All the pumpkins. This one. And I love that there's a the pumpkin up there in the word for the, you know, the month. I love that. So here's that. I did not get far at all. I was going to, I would have gotten way further on this, but the roof did not line up. So I had to fix the roof. I was very... Very annoyed to say the least when I was at retreat, so I just put it away and didn't touch it again. Because it was like, you know, when something doesn't line up, it slows you down. You gotta figure out where you're off, and those types of things, they're, they're not always completely symmetrical for these I have found. So it's not like a simple, you go to this side, go to this side, and fix it. It's It can be totally weird and random how it, how it all is put together. Like, as far as the the rows aren't always even. So, throw these on the floor as I do them. Um, not over that one. Okay, then I did... I started this... I don't think I officially started it at, at StitchCon, but I did get more of it done. So, this is Corey Beth Corey Summer Shabby Calendar. I love this one. It's so, so pretty. It, I know it's Italian, but it looks French to me, actually. And I got the first four boxes done. So here's that one. I got... I love this last December 4. It's really pretty with the vase and everything. Mermaid. Little watermelon. I didn't know what that was until I actually stitched it. My friend Nicole and I were trying to figure out what that was. She was the one that actually figured out it was watermelon. And the little boathouse. 
you know, this is a little vase. So there's that one. And I guess the next one that I should show you guys after this would be the other one. So okay, so then I also pulled back out. You guys have seen this before. Um and I forgot to say that obviously July and August and October were all new starts. This was not a new start. I, I started this last year. I didn't work on this a lot though because I was doing other other pieces and other things. I love this one so much. I love the colors. It's really pretty. Anyway, Corey, about the Corey, uh, obviously shabby autumn calendar. So this one is so pretty. I. I didn't get very far in this, honestly. I worked on the border some more because this is one that I did not do the whole border first, like in a long row anyway to get to the from one end to the other. And I didn't realize that until I was working on the summer one that that was vitally important. So I went back and finished that. And then I still have to do the back stitch on this motif, but I started the little cat here there's the cat and I got those numbered and finished so that's that one and what I what I do like about like floss tube for example is when you go through your whips and you, you pull them all out and you really find ones like oh yeah I really like that why haven't I been working on that and then you just want to work on you want to work on all the things right yes I do but you guys I think most people are that same way though so then that was October, fall, October. So I guess I'll show you this one next. My nemesis, November, the Cricut Collection. I love this, I love this chart actually. I really, really do. I love this pattern. I don't love my fabric. And I'm too far into this to start over, so I'm, that's not even an option. I'm not going to do that. And I've, I've also have silks into this, which is the other reason I'm not starting over because I have, obviously, silks are expensive and there's like, I think there's like five silks in this one in particular, so what happening? What happening? So here's November. Um, last time you guys saw this, I'll try to insert a picture of what it looked like, but um, I got the V. I think that's the only thing, yeah, that's the only thing I did was the V. And I didn't even finish the V. I really like how it looks. I really do. I just don't like this fabric. Sometimes it looks purple. Sometimes it looks brown. I wanted brown because I thought that to me, like this doesn't look fall to me, like this grayish color. It looks good with the stuff, but I thought personally that with this like kind of whitish color that it would look good against a really dark color, which is why I wanted a dark color. But this didn't dye the way that I wanted it to dye. I mean, it looks okay, but it's not my favorite. Maybe when it's done, I'll like it a lot more, but right now, not so much. Right now, not so much. So that's November. And then, sorry, I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff put away anyway. I'm not gonna get too worried about it because I don't want the video to be super long. Um, Oh, here's another fall thing. So this was another one I started. I actually started this on, I wrote it down. I started it on Friday the 13th because it was the last Friday the 13th of the year and yada yada yada. So this is by Priscilla, which is laundry line. I love this kit. I wanted this thing for years years and years and years before I finally bought it I bought literally like the last the last one or the second to last one I didn't get very far on it at all I'll show you guys what I did do it was like one little section yep the witch's hat right here see where it's all glittery I did the beading and the sequins on it that's all I've done so I'm going to pull this back out again in the um, fall, like probably October-ish. 
or before, because I'd like to get, have it done for October, actually. But that's that was a new start for me. Another new start. Um, what else? I already showed that. This has to do with something else. Oh. Oh, you know what? Here's a. I show it like that. Where? Oh no, it's right here. Oh, perfect. Okay. So then, oh, this is awesome. Okay, so now we're into November, right? So here's November from Lily Violette. Right here. Love this one. This is uh, this one is my absolute favorite out of the entire series, followed by December, which you guys will see next. So here's how far I got. I'm doing this on 28 count um, coffee tea dye fabric. So there's November. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff up here. So there's November. I got the basic outline of the house done. I just love this house. It's like Victorian, which is my dream home. Okay, then the next one is right here, December, by Lily Violette again. And I did not get very far on this at all. I did see, there's a little, I'm sorry again. I started the November one on December 7th, or right, November 7th, and I started the December one. I didn't start it until December 29th, so keep that in mind. So then I moved on to January by then. So that's all I got done. Just the outline of the house, the door, I mean the door, where there's a little Christmas tree inside of that door. You can see the shape if you look. The Christmas tree shape. So that's that one. That was the one I didn't think I had a pattern to show you guys was a November one, but glad that was in there. So that's that one. This where it goes. Okay. Put this back in there. Then the next thing I have to show you guys. Oh, let's go back to summer in a minute. So I started for. Actually, we'll do this other one first. So. For, I joined a sale with Belinda from an itch to cross stitch or no it's an itch to stitch I think is, it is anyway um, I joined her in a sale for her birthday start um, we are doing Renaissance Mermaid by Mirabilia I love this one she's so pretty we're so excited about this one and I've been wanting to start it forever. I love doing sales because I feel like it just keeps you keeps you working on stuff, you know, that you wouldn't maybe normally be working on a lot. Fabric. Hey, I just saw the sheet from the fabric, so that's why I remembered it. I forgot to tell you guys about it. So I'll take this off so you guys can see what the fabric is. Um, it is really pretty. This is like a very... It, it looks like the idea that I had behind mine was I wanted to have like a clear, like I wanted to be her coming out of the water and her underneath the water. So this looks very much like that. I'll just take this off so you guys can see what the underneath it looks like. So that's what my fabric looks like. I love this fabric. I can't even tell you. And I chose this fabric by using the, the viewer, I think that's called online. Um, and this is called... Can you be any paper? It's by Under the Sea Fabrics, and this is on Midnight Mermaid. 32 count, yeah, 32 count linen, Belfast linen. Gorgeous. And then here she is up close. So I'll show you an up close picture of her. I just love this. I started doing down here. I did have to change some colors, or I will have to change some colors. So I will show you guys. What I'm doing with that, um, I had to change a silk and a Krennic, actually. And I switched to a 
Okay, so this was the called for. This is blueberry. Turn water lilies, blueberry, but ugh, gosh. You see a problem there? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. So I actually switched to this one. I really love this one. This is another water lilies. This is Mediterranean. So this is what I switched to right here. Because that looks really good. Can't see the variegation super well. I should get up close. There you go. So I switched to Mediterranean because this just blends right in. And then the other problem that I had was with the credit. So I ordered two different options because I wasn't sure what was going to work or not. And now I don't want to get these mixed up. So this was the original one right here. Just blends in too much. And if you see this in person, you can really see what I'm talking about. But it blends in really, really well to the point I don't want that. So then I, I, bought, I bought these two as an option right here. This one has like almost like black flecks in it, so I'm not using that one. This is the one I chose to go in there. And I love it. And it looks really great with this one too. These two together. So that's what I'm switching it to. And here's the other silk. I'll just show you guys the silk against the fabric. This is what I mean. Like, look at how perfect that that is. Just perfect. So it's not gonna be a problem with the the krennic. And it's most of the krennic is in the inside of her tail, so that's great, actually. Um, so that's that. Let me, I'm going to take like two seconds to put this away real quick. And then the beads, that was the other thing was the beads. So I will show you guys what I mean with that. So the beads, I'm not changing any of the beads. I'm leaving everything, but and I don't know if you are going to be able to really tell with the light. Cause it's, the light changes the fabric color a little bit. That is really true to color though, but you're not gonna be able to see probably because of the film on this little bag. But the beads are like almost identical to my fabric here, but they're on the inside, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Just let it do its thing and figure it out as I go. So that's Renaissance Mermaid and I love this piece i do plan on working on this piece this year i want to finish it i want to finish it by the summertime or well okay, by the summer as close to the summer as i can because i i like working on summer pieces in the summer fall and the fall i i'm a seasonal stitcher so if you guys if you guys can kind of find figure out what i stitch by what season it is and whatnot um what's like that i'm gonna throw this in here really quick Um, then the next thing I have is another mermaid. Okay, there's like a thousand beads in that one. Another mermaid. Um, and this was my birthday star. So that one was for Belinda's birthday. Or the salad I'm doing it was for her birthday, which is in June. I think June 6th. And then this is the one I started for my birthday. I did not get very far in this at all, and I haven't gone back to it again at all because I really love the Renaissance Mermaid. So that's what I've been. Let's get this needle minder off a second because I broke the little rule. Don't sh don't watch, don't use your stuff until you show it on floss tube. But I did because I've, I've not been on floss tube in so long. That's okay. Um, little folder in there. So. For my birthday star, and you guys will have seen this if you watch me or you follow me rather on Instagram. So I started Enchanted Mermaid for my birthday star, and I'm going to do the conversion. Stephanie Klein, Kane, Kane, I think it is Stephanie Kane. On um, she's a floss tube channel. I can't think of what her floss tube channel is off the top of my head, but she did hers. She did a blonde. Mermaid. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do her conversion. This is how far I've gotten. So not very. I I like to do the faces first. So I'm I started down here in her tail, and then I'm working my way up to get to her face. 
I think that's part of her arm maybe. So, oh, <clears throat> fabric. Let me see, do I have the fabric? Do I have it? This tag, I'll show you guys. Um, oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. I know that it is from Fabrics by Stephanie. No. Yes. Fabrics by Stephanie, I believe. I'll have to look it up. If you guys are interested, just leave me a comment and I'll try to find I'll try to find it and let you know. I wanna say it's something wish, like every wish or something like that. Pretty positive. Pretty positive. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back to fall to show you guys what something with it. So here's the next one. Um, um, here's the next one. This is by this is by Oh Glendon Place. So Haunted Household. And I don't know if I have a before picture. I know it's on my Instagram, so I'll try to maybe pull that up for you guys, but I'll show you how far I am in this. I'm almost done with this one. I don't have too much more to go. So when I pulled this back out, I finished this little um, gable here and brought that down. Sorry, I'm not trying to hinder your finger. <laughs> and then I started the lettering here and here and the spider web here and I finished the spider itself there. So that's how far I got there. I like this one. This is really, this one stitches up really fast. It's very symmetrical, which I like. I feel like you can get things going really fast when you have symmetrical stuff. It makes it easier. Then, what's next? Um, oh my gosh, I just realized I'm throwing my whips all over my haul. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, then I will show you guys. I'll just show you guys this one next. So I'll try to have a picture here to show you guys where I was last on it. I didn't work on this a lot. I did pull it out basically after I was done with Christmas and I just wanted to relax. So I pulled out um, Jim Shore's 12 Days of Christmas here. Still on the first one. Still on Partridge. Here for your tree. But I got the... Um, this greenery done right there, like mainly this, because I think it was, I think I actually had this tiny bit, but I, I went out here and here, like that. So that's what I got done on that one. I hope this was close enough for you guys to see. I love this piece. Um, and I fully intend to work on this like all year long because if I only work on it in the, in the winter and Christmas time, then it'll never get done. So, I love it too much to put away for that long. So there's that one. Then, next, I have um, I'll show that one last. I'll show that. Okay, so then I have, I, sh I told you guys about it in another video that I'm doing the Mill Hill Christmas Village um, 12 different little houses or whatever. This is the one I'm starting with, Queen Anne House. There. And I pulled this out last week, I think it was. I'm doing this on, oh, here we go, it's right here, 28 Count Stormy Gray. Bye. Bye. I forget who it's by. Sorry. I know it'll come to me right after. I'll try to put it on the screen. So before I started working on this again, I had the outline of the roof and this outline of the roof and this top part of the stone. That was it. So I did all this down here the other day. I've done this like one day. 
for two days maybe. There's that. I love this one. And it's actually going together quite fast. Like the patterns are not large. So I don't know why I don't have at least like three of these done by now, to be quite honest. Just working on so many other things. I think last year I was I was putting too much focus on trying to finish that Cricut series because I just want to have something completely like an entire series done to put on the wall. And for some reason I decided, oh, let me start with the Cricut collection, which is huge compared to like a lot of the smalls out there. So it wasn't the brightest idea, but I mean, I'm glad I did go to because now I have almost all of them done so I can trim them. So that's, that's fun. But yeah, I spent a lot of time working on the Cricut collection and I kind of didn't work on the other ones because of that. Okay, then the next thing I have to show you is my next book. So that's January from Lily Violette. And I started this on January 6th, I think was the date, I wanna say. That's Zara. For those of you who don't know, that's my parrot. She's an African gray and she's having, she's having fun clicking down there. So this is um, 28 count coffee tea dyed fabric that I coffee tea dyed myself. That's how far I am. I got pretty far. I was working on this last night, or yes, no, yesterday, during the day. Today's Sunday. January 12th, just for reference. So there's that. I really love this piece. I think it's really pretty. That's everything in there. So those are my whips, with the exception of one. Oh no, with the exception of two. Two, hold on, let me pull out another of my whips here so you can see that. So I didn't show you guys over. This is this case I have. It's this, it's pretty big. Well, it's not that big actually, but this is what I do, or this is what I keep my I'm still like whips in. And currently I'm working on this one. So I'll just show you guys the cover picture real quick. This is another whip. So this is something that is in my rotation, and I've been this is my one Brazil rotation currently. So this is toy shop. Advent calendar. I love advent calendars. I don't know what it is about them, but I love them. So it's very intricate. There's a lot of pieces in this one. It's kind of a beast. So I'm slowly getting pieces done. So this is how far I am. I have the I have the top down here. You can see the all the sparkle. There's lots of sparkle. And then the snow. So I did the like last night I finished these three snow tops. And then I have to do the bottom part that's here on these four. So this was my goal to finish was the snow. I got the when I started when I pulled this piece back out again, I was up to this one maybe, or no, I was up to here, I think, with windows. So I put all these windows on, sins, which is, might not look like a huge thing, but I mean, it's this big. It's a huge piece. It's a really, really huge piece. So that's actually quite a bit to get done. Um, so that's what I've been working on for Brusilla, and that's what, sorry, that, I'm trying to not have that weird light thing straight through everything. Um, but that's what I've been working on for Priscilla and what I will continue to work on for that. And I was going to show you guys this real quick. So I have this case and this is what I keep all my stuff in. So this is what my, like, we have our whips for, you know, cross stitch. This is what I keep in my Priscilla kit. I have like all my sequins and beads I keep in here and these little wheels. This one actually has two for this project. Tape measure, needles, clips, all kinds of all kinds of things. I really like this box. I might actually get another for the 12 days um, ornaments. So, there's that. Okay, so those are whips, with the exception of one, and I will show you guys a change I'm gonna make as I go through that. Um I think I showed you guys everything I wanted to show you except for haul. Which I oh no, here's another whip, sorry. 
I lied. Um, so this is my bead embroidery. And when I say bead, I, I literally mean it's all beads. So this is what it is. This is what it is. It's from the Ukraine. Um, just list the beads number. So here's this has 8,248 beads in it and 23 colors. So that's that one. And I worked on this at the October Stitches Retreat. So here's how far I got. I will have to try to insert a picture where I was to where I am now because I honestly don't remember. I think I filled in here, this part down here. I didn't work on it for too long when I was at the Stitches Retreat. I was actually having a lot of back pain. Like one day I had to just go lay down upstairs flat because the chairs were for me. I don't know if everybody felt this way, but for me they were absolutely terrible. Just terrible. So I didn't get as much tissue there as I would have liked to have gotten done because of that. Um, okay, so I guess I'll go into haul from there. So first thing I will show you Oh, it's right here. Um, so from the October Stitches Retreat, I'll show you what I got from there. This might not be up. I know, I know I have other stuff in the haul. So I'll show you the little gifts that we got. So we all got, I saved this just to show you guys how much right away. Um, so we all got a door prize, and this was mine. This is a Clay by Kim Gilminder, and the one I got was right here. This guy. Isn't that pretty? This one I got. It's got a little, like, crystal in the middle. Some green crystal. So that's the one that I got, and I love this. It's so pretty, and I really like this because if you look at the back of it, it actually, you tuck your needle in that little hole. So that when you put it, you pry this away, you don't tend to lose your needle as easily. I really like those because I have found with other needle minders a lot of the time, and sometimes my needle gets caught on the bag itself, and then I can't find it for a little while. So that's one thing. Another thing was this little, ch we got these scissors. So I put them on the scissors that came with them. So then this is the, we got this little, this really pretty charm, and then it says, there's a picture of Michigan, with Michigan, and then Michigan Stitchers Retreat 2019. You can see that. So that's one of the things we got. And we also got this Uber candy bar. I'm gonna eat that. I'm saving that forever. And then we also got this, which I love. This is the, it says Michigan Stitchers Retreat. I know it's probably hard to kind of see. And the other side is 2019 orts. And this is literally the only thing I do with my orts is I hang in from an ornament. So I've been waiting to show you guys this to put my orts from 2019 into. So now I can finally do that. <coughs> and put it away. These are our name tags. So it's on a, I forget what kind of rock this is called, but we just put it, we wrote it on them with Sharpies. And those are our name tags for every subsequent year that we go back. We got a cute little notepad to write whatever we want to write down on. Also, I think that's everything from gift-wise that we got from there. Then I will show you haul now. So this will be the haul part of the video. And I'll try to, I'll pull out this stuff from the retreat filled up first. You guys can see what else we got from there. I can find that. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Here it is. Okay, found it. This will all come out in one piece. Okay, so here is. Some purchases in here, so these are, I'll separate these. 
so the other stuff that we got from the Michigan Citrus Retreat specifically were, sorry my bag is all but I didn't get. So we got this really cute little cookie cutter. There. And then we got this really cute floss keep. We got a floss keep. Oops. It's got like burn marks on the other side. It's really pretty. I like this thing a lot. We got this amigo minder. And I don't know what was in there. Apparently I took it out. We got a Gina. Gina was supposed to be there, but she had some, her husband had some health problems, so she couldn't come, unfortunately. But she gave everybody this really pretty, um, Michigan is known for apples, so we have a little apple as our little thing. It was kind of the theme was Michigan everything. Uh, we got a little sample of Threadworks, silks, really pretty. I got a Snag Nabbit. I forgot I had this. See how this stuff you get to be like, oh, I can put it all away now. <laughs> Forget what I have. Um, we got another one of these little, it's this little green, forget. Um, we got some silk from Silk For You. Everybody got different colors too, of all the different ones. I got some lotion. We got a couple of these, I forget what these are called. I bought a huge bag on Amazon. I love these things, they're awesome. Um, and we got a couple of needles from, oh, these are Pat's favorite needles. A little matchbox thing. I have bought these before on um, Etsy. I really like those needles. We have these little heart buckles. I got these, from, I got these at the other retreat, too, in October, and I don't really quite know what to do with those. So I haven't used them yet. We got some, oh, apparently I took it out and used it. Put it with another pack. Oh, I used it with my elephant when I was there. We got a Mill Hill Beauty Needle, and then the last thing is this thing, which I don't have, and I think this is awesome. I'm going to put this with all my cross-stitch related I got a color card for Krennic and a Krennic. I think it's a number eight. It's a braid, but yeah, so that's that stuff, and then we got some more stuff too. The other things we got, we got a lot of like little things for Michigan, like we got a lot of freebies, which were really, I don't know if I can, I'm not going to show those because I don't know if we're supposed to show those. And I got this kit, <clears throat> cute common moons, I got that kit right there, the ducks, and actually I did put another thing that. I'm going to show you guys. I think um, Karen um, from Meridian Designs was there. She, I love Karen. She's amazing. Um, she's got a shop on Etsy. And I think she was con possibly converting in her actual website of her own. I'm pretty sure because I know she was talking about it on Facebook for a while. So I think she may have done that already. But anyway, um... She designed a chart just for our retreat, you guys, and it is amazing. Let me see if I can find it because I really want to show you it. Poor thingy. Here it is. Okay, found it. So it is called Naturally Michigan. It is available to purchase now, I believe. But she's going to do a whole entire series of this. Is that not the cutest freaking thing you've ever seen in your life? I love it. Like, love it. She's going to eventually do all the different states, but um, she started with us because we're awesome. 
And there's there's a there's a good amount of colors, but it's not you know not too much for that guy. Check her out. Check out her. Check her out on Etsy and also on uh, her website. She might have that that up and running now. You don't know for sure. But anyway, there's that. Okay, then let's get into the rest of the haul. And then I'm going to try to hurry as fast as I can because I don't want to have this video go to like an hour long. So, that we don't need. That's not haul. I don't need to show you guys that. For that. Okay, so from that Michigan Citrus Retreat. Yeah, Michigan Searchers Retreat for haul. This is what I bought there. Um, if I separate and pull that all out. This was all from there. And this. I think that was it. Okay, so I bought this all from, well, I'll show you my fabric first. I bought fabrics by Stephanie. Stephanie was there. And I bought some fabric from her. And the fabric I bought was Sugar Plum Fairies. This is on um, this is 32 count linen. And I'm planning on using this for um, one of the queens, the Mirabilia Queens. I don't know who yet. And then this was the one I was wanting really, really badly. This is 32 count linen in Banshee. This I love so much. And this is for the other whip I was waiting around and waiting around to show you guys. So here's Sunset by Rosewood Manor. I started this. And I had a fabric that was pretty close to it. Actually, we can officially see. Actually, pretty good. It wasn't purposely trying. I just literally had this in this color. And this fabric so it just doesn't it was like a botched piece the way I dyed it I didn't like it I had this needle minder how cool is this needle minder it's like an African girl love it um, I'm calling this this is like African sunset to me that's why I love this piece so much but I'm gonna restart it on Banshee which is actually the call for so now I can do that I don't know if I'll do work on this much but I didn't want to get too far into it because of the fact that it's done all in weeks. And I did actually splurge and got all the weeks for it because I want it to look exactly like the picture. Or exactly like the model. So that's why I did that. So that's part of my haul. Then next thing I bought was... Um, and she kind of, Marie kind of took orders from us too prior to us going, like on the, on the group she asked what we wanted to buy or what we wanted her to have and so that some of the stuff she brought specifically for me, which is awesome, and some of the stuff I just found and loved and bought. So yeah. Okay, so in no particular order, I guess the first thing I'll show you that my friend Sue's bought for me was... Hands hands on design meow block party. I think this was a block party. Yeah, block party. So I got meow and wolf. Love these. Um, so she bought me these, which was so awesome. Thank you again, Suze. And then I bought the buttons for both of them, the meow and the wolf, to go into those when they're finished. And so there's two things in the fabric. And then the next thing I bought was um, Seaside Kingdom. By Mirabilia, and this comes with all the stuffs, all the goodies, goodies in the front. Of it. I would this one I was unsure about if I wanted to stitch this honestly, but then I saw um Coffee Stitcher did an up close picture, or he did an up close of his stitched, and I just loved it. So I thought, oh, I gotta buy that. I don't know when I'll do it, but I had I wanted to get it. So then uh, the other thing, so the thing she bought specifically for me was Shabby Winter Calendar. I might start this yet yeah, this winter, I don't know. Got that. And then she 
she brought for me the Cricut Collection Farmer's Market. I love this one. This one's brand new. And then she also wrapped Open House. I have the Gable, House of Gable or whatever it's called. So this is kind of the companion piece to it. Love it. So I'm excited to do that one. She also brought Playing with Jacks for me. Love that. And then, I don't think the rest of these were on my list. I mean, they were on my wish list on one, two, three, stitch, but they were not on my, like, bring them for me, please list. Lila Studio, Holiday Quaker. I love this piece. I've been wanting this one for a very long time. I want to get the Halloween one, too. I don't remember if I have the Halloween one, to be honest. So I should probably figure that out. I'm just, I'm just going to start putting some of this stuff away here. Okay, then I also got Autumn Bell Pull. I love this. You guys know I like to stitch deep, seasonal, so that was a no-brainer for me. Then I got Raise, by Raise the Roof Designs, Love Laundry. I am done for because they have all the holidays of these, and I love these, so... I'm going to do that. I got Blooming Bride by Mirabilia. This one I'd wanted for a while. Just kind of put it off from buying it. And then it went discontinued. So when she had it, I grabbed it. I want to stitch this for my girls when they get married. It's going to be a feast. So I should probably start early. Um, then Silver Creek Samplers. What's this actually called? My Christmas List. Love this piece. I saw a lot of people stitching this, or I saw it on Instagram a lot over um, the holidays. So I really love that. And then the last ones are by Bella Filipina. And this is actually a, a man that designs these. Man, they're just gorgeous. So this is a, I don't know if these are anywhere. I got Aquamarina. Gorgeous. I didn't realize how many beads are in these. They're like, it's, you know, the and the beads they have as many as like would be in a mirabilia and then I have Rina Mariposa love that one there was a third one I almost bought but I decided to wait so that's what I got from the Michigan stitchers retreat then I got Oh, and just kind of to recap too, all this stuff is not, like I didn't buy this lot one time. I don't think I've done a video in like seven months. So this is my haul from like waiting seven months to show you guys. And then Lily Violette sent me, personally sent me a whole bunch of goodies. And I could not even believe it. Like, first of all, thank you, thank you again. Like. I can't even. I was shocked when I opened this package from her. I'm not going to show you guys absolutely everything that she sent me because I I don't want to, I just don't want to come across, you know, whatever, have you about it. But um, I'm going to show you some of the, like, oh, like, she sent me this swath too. Are you kidding? This is a hand-painted wooden, wooden, it's hand-painted. And it is the most gorgeous thing of life. And it is, like, it looks like the January. I think this is supposed to be the January house, actually. Yes. So guess who's going to finally start using this because they're stitching the January house. Perfect. Right? Perfect. Okay, then she sent me this. Is, let's see. They're all wrapped up in this nice, cute little package. So, all right. She sent me some fabric. So she sent me this. This piece here, here, she sent me some green, she sent me some, uh, I think this is, okay. anyway, this one, this matches one of the, which one is it she sent for the matches? Oh no, this is the one that matches. How stinking cute is that? 
Yes, and she put all these ribbons all over everything. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. So she sent me that. She sent me Practically Perfect in every way. Um, and these are, okay, one thing I love, absolutely love, is that these are in Italian. So, like, this actually, it's not the, like, Americanized one. It's, it's actually, so I think this is winter. Correct me if you're, if you speak Italian, but... Um, so I'm going to stitch them in that. I'm not going to change them because I love that they're in Italian. I absolutely love that. Um, she also sent me <clears throat> this. I love this one. I've been wanting to do this one. So I'm really, she did like a new, or she's doing a whole line that's like these little shops. And I think they're the most adorable things ever. So I'm definitely going to get those over time. Uh, lavender. I think this is supposed to be field of lavender. Something like that. I don't know. I don't speak Italian. I want to, but I don't right now. And then she sent me a few other things, but I'm not, not going to show every single thing. Because they, I don't know, you know. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely love this stuff. You guys are, I about died when I opened this package. I could not even believe it. So there's all this. Then... Um, what else? Um, I'll show you these I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to convert these into needle minders, actually. And I have and I have some other needle minders that I bought from Gina's Unique Boutique. Um, then I have this one, too. I'm going to show you guys real quick. My friend Nicole um, gave this to me. I don't know if I've ever shown it in a video, but it's an elephant. It's the most gorgeous little, like, jeweled like Indian looking elephant. Let's see. They dress all their elephants up. Then I got these from Hobby Lobby, these parrots, because the parrots. I got a giraffe. I'm gonna use this one in my affectionately renamed African Sunset, aka Rosewood Manor Sunset. I got another elephant. You guys hear my bird saying her own name? Zara, hey. I got a feather. You guys see a theme here? Animals. A little kitty cat. Then from Gina's Unique Boutique, I got... Oops, sorry, they're all sticking to each other. Got this gorgeous sled with the little dangly thighs. See that? And I got the witch's hat with the little dangly star. Love that one. I got I got this. And I'm gonna show it anyway. You know it broke, but I got this. This is my first like clay one. Her tail broke, but isn't this just pretty? I love it. And I got this one to match my embroidery, my beaded embroidery piece. I got, this is from her Facebook group where I got this one. My name. I got this purple butterfly. Love that one. And probably my favorite of all is this monarch butterfly. I'm using these with my mermaids because I feel like butterflies and mermaids go together quite well. Um, so those are, those are those. Um, I got this from eBay. It was 12 Days of Christmas. I got, um, I got this thing from Amazon, which I'm intending to use, like, for, to hold my patterns. And this is metal, so I can stick needle minders and stuff to it when I go to retreats. So it'll sit, you know, as upright as I can make it anyway. I can try to finagle it a little bit more. That's a random thing I got. Um, I got some patterns from Etsy, and I will show you guys a couple of those. I think some of them I can't show you. Let me see if I remember. Let me see. Yeah, two of them I can't show you because it's literally the pattern, so I'm not going to put that on there, but I'll show you. This is Summer Sampler by... 
arena. I don't even know what it is. Mean. I'll let you see it. Shoot, now I don't know if I still step on the stuff on the floor. Um, this one has a ton of specialty stitches in it. I really love that one a lot. And then this is the other one, Sea Vacations. There's a whole series of these for each season. So you can look these up on um, Etsy. That's where you'll find those if you're interested. You're so inclined. Okay, then I have I got some more scissors for my Lucilla, pink and purple. For my felt kits, I got these because I found that I needed some like actually knitting needles for some of the steps I was doing in the latest kit. I got some scissors from my local knitting shop. I also got a pink pair. I don't know where they are though. I got almost done. Almost done. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think we're almost done. Oh, I hear stuff. There they are. Okay. I hear them, but I can't see them. Okay, so I got a bunch of scissors. I got these. I never. Sh I don't think I ever showed these to you guys, but I'll show you them. I'll show you them now. There are a bunch of Christmas scissors. We have snowmen, poinsettias, candy canes, wreaths, and my favorite one, the little snowflakes. I got those. I bought African Angel by Barbara, Barbara Batts. I'm going to be doing a sell with this. This is my favorite one out of all the, like she does like a lot of these like ladies and stuff. This is my absolute favorite one. I hope you guys can figure out why. African animals, anybody? Favorite thing in the world. Um, then I got Lizzie Kate, Let Them Be Small. I got what is this from? Oh, this is from okay. Okay, so then the last bundles are this is from my birthday haul from my husband actually. Um when I was at the StitchCon retreat, I was looking at these and I was like going back and forth and back and forth. Oh my gosh, you have, oh, I can't believe I did that. So, Sue's, here's the my clinics and beads that I repurchased again. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Didn't realize I did that. But um, I thought I had those and I couldn't find them anywhere. Anyway, so when I was at StitchCon, I really, really wanted to get the Jeanette Douglas um, by the sea patterns. So my husband, when I got back from that and it was my birthday was after the retreat, he said go ahead and cut them so this is from my husband this stuff here which is the credits and the the last of the beads that I needed for enchanted mermaid and then I got four season four season sampler love this piece so pretty and this one they had stitched up I think yes they had this stitched up there in a model I believe and then I got spring by the sea Summer by the Sea, Autumn by the Sea, this is my favorite one of all of them, and Winter by the Sea. And then I also got for my birthday, this is by Sarah Guamani, I don't know how you say this. Um, this is Advent, Sam Advent Sampler, it's a Christmas one, and this one's really pretty. So that's what I got for my birthday. <clears throat> so there's that. And then, I don't know what this is from specifically, but these are more, got a couple more Lily Violette. So I have September from her and March, because I'm going to be doing her floral wreaths too. And then I also got Cory Bathacory. This is the spring market. 
And then the last bit of stuff I got was this is from Chris this is from Christmas from my dad. So I got oh this oh I can put this away perfect. So I got the floss that goes in the moon of that haunted house one I have. And then I got this really cute little needle slide. I'm actually going to put this in my Brusilla kit for all my needles in there. And I got this Corier Batacori again. This is my, my winter home in the mountains or something I think is what it translates to. I don't remember. But I got these. I want to buy the other. There's a like summer looking one. There's a spring looking one. Really wish there was a fall looking one because I would buy it in a second. But um, I'm gonna use these as like seasonal pieces and just put them out because it's like very Christmassy. So that's that's what I'm doing with them. I don't care that it says my home in the mountain. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Then I got the October wreath from Lily Violet. I got April. I got January. And I got Christmas sampler from Corey about the Corey. I got Stony Creek 12 Days of Christmas. You guys know I love 12 Days of Christmas. And the last thing I got was um, the Victoria sampler, 12 Days of Christmas again. So that's that. And then I do have some more haul. Um, that's the rest of the cross stitch haul. I have Brusilla kits. So if you guys aren't interested in Brusilla, that's probably probably where you'll leave the video off unless you want to listen to plans. But um, I'll show you a f some of the ones that I've purchased. I'm not going to show you every kit that I have because that would be mad or all the kits that I bought recently because that'd be madness. But I'll just show you a few of them. Um, so I should preface this by saying kind of in plans. So my husband and I were talking and we are planning on getting two puppies in the spring. So I know that might sound like chaotic madness to everybody to get two at once, but that's what we're doing because we've done that before. We've gotten two puppies before together and potty trained them together and it was so much easier than getting them separate and you have one square away and then you're starting all over again with another one. It's just chaos that way I feel like. So we're getting two of them in the spring. <clears throat> so, oh, perfect. I pulled out the first one. So one of them is going to be a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And this is going to be the stocking I'm going to make for her. And I feel like they look like Cavaliers. Anyway, she's, did I say that? She's going to be a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I don't even know. That's how terrible my memory is. But that's what, I feel like they look like Cavaliers. And we've had a Cavalier before, so... She's going to be a black and tan. So I'm going to try to convert the dogs in here to black and tan if I can. Then, show you the other one. You can find his. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the other one. This one's called Santa Paws. Sorry about the glare. Try to hold the bag and this thing at the same time. So this is Santa Claus. I'm going to try to convert this dog right here, the brown one, to the kind of dog we're getting, which is a Rottweiler. So I'm going to try to make him into a little ratty if I can. I'm going to try to, try to make it work. We've had, um, in the past, my dog Bronx was half rat, and he was the best dog I've ever had in my entire life. So we want to get a rat. And I'm honestly, like, Bronx has been gone now for he died eight years ago and it'll be like eight and a half years by the time we get the new dog so i'm very very excited about getting him i'm very excited about the other dog too but i feel like more excited about the rottweiler than i am about the other dog at this point just because i've missed my dog Bronx forever so anyway so those are for the dogs and then for the cats to share i didn't know this but apparently there are three cats in this one so this is for the cats to all share collectively um, and there's a third cat that goes like down right here-ish. Or I've seen people put it like right here. I didn't even know there was a third cat until somebody sewed it up and shared it on one of the groups. 
And then I got another advent calendar. This is the gingerbread house. And apparently each little, like one of these pieces, is a piece you add on as you get closer to Christmas. I love advent calendars. So I, I got a bunch of those. Um, this is Santa's card holder. I don't know if many people hold, send out cards anymore, but I love this piece regardless. I'm not probably going to even use it for that, really, but I love it. So I'm going to make it. I've wanted that piece for years and years and years. And then this is the Christmas at the Ark. Another advent calendar. Each little animal you add, you know, as the days get on to Christmas. So I had to get that because of all the African animals on that one. And then <clears throat> the last two that I will show you guys. My friend Suze actually got this for me. This was one of my, like, had to have in life. You know, but you, know, you guys know I love the 12 Days of Christmas, so she bought me this. Are you dead on the floor? I couldn't believe it. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, Suze. You're just the best ever. Um, so I'm going to make this one. Love it. This one is so, so much sparkle in it. And then I had to get two turtle doves. I don't know if they're going to do a whole line of these. I hope that they are, but yeah, that's... I hope that they do. I don't know who I'm going to make them for, but I'll have to get them. Because now I have the two. I was missing them. The reason I didn't buy any other stockings really is because I have stockings made for everybody in my immediate family now. So all the, all the pieces that I tend to buy are for like wall hangings and things like that. And now I bought ones for the, for the animals because then there are more stockings I can make. And I really love them anyway. I love how they all look together in a row. Um, anyway, so that's, I'm going to kind of wrap up the video here, um, and just kind of let you guys know about plans. So plans for me for the year are basically going to be whips. Like my friend Nicole and I, who she's on floss tube as well. We kind of talked about how we're going to have this be, be the year of the whips for us. Um, I have a lot of pieces that I want to focus on that I just want to get stuff finished up. I have a lot of I think last time I counted, and this is minus getting like the Cricut collection pieces done. So I should go through and count how many whips I, I actually have, but I think I had around 40 of them. And that might not seem a lot to like some of you who have a gazillion whips out there, but to me that's a lot because I try not to have that many, you know. And I do plan on doing some new starts in that in there as well for like 2020, but not that many, honestly. Like I'm restarting Rosewood sunset and I'm going to start, um, what other ones did I have? I'm going to start February and March and April from Lily Violet. I didn't start September yet. So I'm going to start those for sure. Other than that, I don't really have a lot of plans. Maybe the winter shabby calendar, like I talked about. Um, oh, I am going to do a, I'm going to do a sell with my friends. We're going to do the snooty parrot sampler together. We haven't decided when we're going to start that exactly. I'm, I am changing all the colors in it though. So I have to figure all that out before, you know, we get going on it, but I'm changing all the colors for sure. So those are going to be new starts, but I'm going to just try to focus on the whips that I have and finishing and getting some finishes rather than like, I only add another and another and another and just have chaos all the time. But yeah, so that's just plans. Uh, as far as videos go, I'm going to try to get back to floss tube. I want to do like, um, I'm going to shoot for two videos, like every two weeks. I'm going to shoot to do a video every two weeks um, and have that be the goal. I will tell you guys in two weeks exactly. It is, well, the 26th of this month is my son's ninth birthday. So I won't be doing a video that weekend for sure. But yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to focus on whips and try to update you guys as much as possible. If you guys do want to follow my stitching, then go ahead over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram. You'll be able to see stuff there. I, I try to share a lot more on there than anything. Um, every little X stitch. And then thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Um, I will see you guys again later. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later this time, obviously. And go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if, if you haven't already. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.